This is Hank. Hank, come here. Overall good boy, and perhaps the luckiest dog you'll ever meet. Oh, shit. Why? Because his owner owns Mountain Dog Freeze-Dried Dog Treats. This is Kevin Thompson. My wife had bought a Harvest Right freeze dryer, and and we were joking around freeze drying these raw foods for people who were feeding it to their dogs. And one of them said, hey, you ought to make a business out of this. The disabled Air Force and Army veteran could be considered lucky himself. In the midst of pursuing a piloting career. When he was going through COVID? Yeah. Oh, man. He fell victim to the pandemic that had him hospitalized for 32 days on a ventilator for eight. My thoughts were ever changing. I mean, that's kind of... Hard to say one thought, um, it was definitely terrifying at times. With faith and fortitude, Thompson pulled through. But as for his piloting career... The FAA was not going to clear me to fly with the lung damage that I've had. Disappointing news, but Thompson chose to pivot and push on, partnering up with Marine Corps veteran Mike Kaler. I am a retired gunnery sergeant, and my last job, fittingly enough, was as the operations chief for TTECG in 29 Palms. Which brings us to this Palmer warehouse today, molding, dehydrating, and packaging locally produced treats for our best friends, made with one familiar ingredient. We only use salmon. We use salmon bellies, and that's all we use. But it's more than just a business. We do have uh, veterans that work for us, a Navy submarine cook. I've got a ranger, I've got marine, I've got a couple Air Force guys that come in and out. Thompson has created a culture a work environment open to other veterans. Some of the veterans that were here, you know, coming in on off days, making a little extra money or just to help out because they wanted to do something and have some of that camaraderie and fun. And I've talked with them, you know, and, and it's done a lot for me at stressful times. A chance to be themselves. We've got a different sense of humor. We got a different way of talking. We got a different way of interacting with one another. And we don't always fit in as fellow comrades. Yeah, we just build our own village. Making treats for our own. It's a dysfunctional village that we love, but it's our village. <laughs>